How could you accept a dollar in a nigga name and you and you still not ready to go to war for this nigga? Man, I'm ready to go to war, my nigga. Been ready. It never changed. Nothing's never changed. You know what I mean? And that's all it should be. While you handling your every other day day to day business, nigga, you still gotta maintain the 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 the, the forefront of nigga. This is sacred and protected with your life. Especially when this nigga dead. We used to be soldiers around this nigga's memory, nigga, with rifles, protecting it with our life. As if he was in a grave somewhere and we were standing around the nigga grave, protecting it from grave robbers. How is it that everybody's comfortable with just taking from this nigga memory for a check? You know what I mean? That, that, that ain't love to me. Niggas don't really love... Tupac, you know what I mean? I think niggas was more jealous of Tupac and trying to tarnish the nigga image more than anything now that he gone, you know what I mean? Because niggas seen where this shit was going and uh, a lot of people don't want that, you feel me? They still aiming for the top spot. They still want the people to love them the same way. So, you know. Stabbing the nigga in the back that you really never fucked with in, in the beginning is nothing. You feel me? It's the same as if I died right now. Yuck mouth would try to make a album, movie, all the shit. And make y'all forget how I really felt about this nigga right now. Fuck that. That was still my nigga though. We just had an argument. No, nigga, fuck that. You a snake. I don't fuck with you. Wherever life is going for me, I still don't fuck with you. You did what you did. I stand on my word, and that ain't to be compromised with, nigga. I don't compromise with my respect. I know a nigga don't respect me. I'm going to make you respect me, nigga, and that is for life, period. I got to stand on that as a man. Real talk though, you know what I mean? Niggas be flip-flopping, you know what I mean? And, and really embracing this industry shit to be their lifestyle, you know what I mean? Like niggas is really industry niggas now, real industry hoes. And check this out, my nigga Bandana the Rag, he just dropped this joint called in and out Y'all go to YouTube right now. And go search in and out bandana the rag yuck mouth this in and out like in and out burger yeah bandana the rag yuck mouth this niggas gonna start tapping in from everywhere now you know what I mean because you, you know and shout out to all my San Diego niggas you feel me Bloods, Crips, Essays, Samoans, Islanders, you know, everybody out there doing their thing. Shout out to all my San Diego niggas, Oceanside niggas, you feel me? Run his mouth and talk for long enough, he gonna tell you everything that he that that, that you want to know. Don't interrupt him. Don't interrupt him. Now, it's funny, I ain't heard one of these yuck mouth videos. Swear to God on my kids, I ain't heard one of them. I ain't had to listen to this nigga. I wouldn't listen to him. But it's just funny how after, you know, and he was supposed to be talking to me, I didn't even hear the shit. But just letting him talk, he done already got himself in trouble again without me having to say nothing. I just put up a text on motherfucking Instagram. And this nigga went crazy. Why? Because the truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying? And I just let him talk. And the nigga just... Rap, get, 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 get. Nigga, I'm more than a crip than you, nigga. Playing with the cripping. You old dusty-ass San Diego, nigga. What? What makes San Diego niggas dusty? And I've been knowing you for 25 years. You know I'm from L.A. Why would you say that? What do you got against San Diego niggas? 
Now, why would you want them? Now you want... Meet me at the Fox Hill Mall, nigga. I'll get you hit in your own town. What? This nigga live down here. And he talking about guys like that? One of ours? A L.A. nigga? What? Hold on, my nigga. Now you got everybody's attention. Like, what's happening? Is it a problem? Is it? Now the nigga want to apologize. See, this is what I'm telling you about. Whole ass niggas. Whole ass niggas. Probably somewhere trying to hang out with Wack 100. Just whole ass niggas. I mean, you really got to think about this shit, man. You really got to think about this shit. Why would Gonzo be saying this shit? Because I ain't never going to lie to y'all. Especially not for my benefit. If I tell you something, I'm going to say it again. Just like I told you a few times before. And every time I said it, I told you I'd get a skin off my back, nigga. If I tell you something, it's true. The nigga gonna say, yeah, I made a statement. Well, making a statement is snitching, you stupid bitch. If you make a statement, what, you, what was you stating? That eight squirrels ran off with your jewelry? What did these squirrels look like? What did these squirrels look like? What did these eight squirrels look like, Mr. Ellis? Well, one of them, one of them was a squirrel, but I could have swore one of them looked like Chug Knight. So the police just assume one of these fucking squirrels look like Suge Knight to the point where TMZ got a hold of it. No, TMZ got a hold of it because they have a line on police reports. When something juicy comes through the station, they got motherfuckers in there that sell them reports to news outlets. And they got that report and said, oh shit, it's juicy. And that's why they reported it. I mean, Everybody's not stupid, so I shouldn't have to explain this type of shit. But I've ne if a nigga get robbed out here on the streets, you don't make no police report. You take that L and go get your jewelry back. Nigga, how they took it? Because you a street nigga. You never involved the police. What are you talking about here, buddy? Is you mob or not? Because what you just said is... You involved the police in, in my business. Now, where's all these gangsters you talking about? Because you know we wasn't going on that one. After the Arizona shit, after you got caught smoking meth in the room with the bitches. Yeah, when they went to jail for stealing your credit card. Now, let me calm down. It's chitons for you, see? It's chitons, see? Now, see, I want everything you took out of here, see? I want everything you want tonight. Everything from the past, see? I want you to apologize to all my people, see? Now, I'm not a monster. But I am one of the big fish down here in Southern California. But I am not a monster. So I tell you what I'm going to do. Since you have your keys down here, I heard what you said about my mother, my madre. But guess what? My mama killed you herself. Poop, 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 poop. She, she shoot you herself. You're a puppy. You're so much a puppy. I'm going to let you stay down here because you got your keys down here. So, Gonzo the Black Paisa, because you know my friends, they don't like you. 
You say too much. But I tell them, I say, the keys. The keys. The keys are in school. This is not the wife's fault. The wife do nothing. And I am not the master. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I make a free phone call. And I say, listen. I, I, I want him to apologize. And I want him to always feel uncomfortable. To tell the little homies. They take something little. This, that, this, that. Nothing big. Do not take his life. Do not take his life. You can be here. Don't take his life. Okay? And don't show to the house. 